Rory on, right on this side. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. I'm uh teamed up with my buddy here. He's in a wallet warrior the tank. Other low went the other direction. Good one splits us up. Lows. Yep. Uh, we do have to... one following us, though, so we're going to be very heavy on this side. So we need to push pretty hard. Yes, we do. So something I like to do before every game really begins, it's actually a very important part of the game, I mean, which is kind of... Since there's only a grill, I'm going to kind of stay up a little bit on higher, because it'll take me less time to come back if I need to come back. Gotcha. I like to make sure that... We have a Since this even freaking slow, even amount of tanks spread out across all the different avenues, if possible. I don't like to think that's really why they heavily the low. <laughs> favor one side or the other, if possible, because then you can allow it to uh, allow yourself to get flanked pretty easily, if they just so happen to be pushing that side. Now we do have a low over there, and he'll probably end up facing those Type 59s, but I'm fairly confident I can run back there oh, if damn. need be. We'll figure it. Not really have much of a problem. All their stuff is on the other way. Holy crap, dude! I'm turning back. You turn back. I'm gonna push forward because there's nothing here that threatens me. Yeah, definitely. So. And just push for the cap as far as you can. Yep. So because I already know there's not really anything over here that's the threatening. Is I'm just gonna go ahead and there's keep pushing. There's a tiger two out in the. Because yeah, just hit me. I need to hurry base. up and get over there. So that might be the only thing you really have to worry about running into. Yep. So I'm gonna push as hard as I can and quickly. Enemy armor is hit. While well, you my do end teammate up clearing these guys out. Goes back, back and takes care of everything out, but, else. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll just be a delay. Because at the moment, like I said, nothing really threatens me, so I need to push as hard as I can. Try and get over there. Well, I'm glad there. I ended up staying on top. Good call. Ooh. Yeah, we're not getting hit too hard. That low did some damage, but I gotta worry about this tiger too. That's gonna be my only problem. I'm bouncing off him. Oh man, I'm. We're just about. Everything over here is just about gone. Yep. There's a slugger with 3%, and that's it. I'm gonna have to get up closer to this tiger to do anything to him. And there's still full health tiger 2 over here. Well, the problem of missing right there is that I'm gonna really be exposed to this tank. Shouldn't like taking too much damage. Luckily. But the problem is, I'm gonna reload and not be able to fire at him. Oh, actually. This tank is so not built for up close crawling. And is miss. What this is gonna be. Grr. <laughs> My one attempt at trying to rescue things is not going well. We've lost a track. That's definitely not good. So I'm just gonna carefully aim. I really don't have much to shoot at here. It's not going to be much of a target. There we go. Of course, I took a lot of damage in the process of doing that. That was not a very good move, but kind of doing what I can. How's it looking up there? <laughs> They're swarming me. Gotta go fast. The cat. I'm dead. Enemy armor is damaged. If I can take out this tiger too, I'll get over there and help, but... I don't know. Just I'll probably many. be dead before I can get over there. Sorry. Oh, it's alright. No, I was hoping we could this make tiger it to cat. To really hurt me in a moment. Oh, there we go. Now, if I could stay turret hugging them, I should be actually. Nope. Going to get wrecked. Well, sadly we couldn't do it there. I did what I could, but. Those Type 59s are just too powerful, especially with one of them getting five kills. Yeah, it's so rough, and even with us readjusting the counter, nothing we could do. Oh well. Push on to another game. So as I was stating before, I was so rudely killed and destroyed and maimed and battle being over. I like to kind of hang back just a bit, see where the battle kind of pans out, because you don't want to overload one side too much. Because in case you do need to end up turning around like I was discussing in my last video, if you're all focused in one spot, and yet they're flanking in the other side with their huge army, people tend not to notice it, and they just kind of keep pushing on, and it ends up being a draw or loss or a disaster. But if you spread out evenly, you can kind of hold them off. If you have, you know, 
half your army on one side, half your army on the other, but you encounter 75% of their army, you're going to be able to sit there and hold them for quite a while until your forces are able to push hard enough that you're able to push through on their weaker flank, and with the theory, at least, at least with the U.S. tank doctrine, is that you apply uh, force to success, and then you go and support the uh, understrength side, sweep around from a flank or from the rear. It's a common tactic, and I don't think it's used very often in this game, but lo and behold, it would work great. You reinforce your success, push through, then flank to uh, bring up your low guard. But, eh, it's just how I roll. I like to give it a little bit, wait and see where everyone goes out to. I mean, this map's kind of easy to tell. The majority of your forces are going to be in the town here, and they're going to have a somewhat understrength group over here on this side. So, seeing as we only have a Panther II and a T-50, and two good mediums, I think I'll come this way, help out, push through as quick as we can, try and get behind them and take out their artillery and their TDs. Because that silly little, what is that thing, T-95 on their end, that's not good. <laughs> so I need to hurry up because they do have a large concentration right here but we do have a bunch of heavies guarding it so kinda wanna push hard push fast and it looks like we're doing that already with our mediums up here I mean the Panther 2 is pretty strong and that Type 59 it's just phenomenally good so my support should allow us to take on those things and uh, the theory at least we'll be able to flank them and take them out this little Pershing over here is not much of a threat. I've never seen the Pershing do too much. I mean, I want to use it so I can learn it. And of course, then I'll probably have a greater appreciation of it. But it seems a little paper thin. The 90mm fully upgraded gun on it, though, seems to be pretty nice. Every time I've encountered it, it still punches through all my armor. It's just, it seems a little too fragile with which to uh, keep up. But then again, that's also learning the type of tank that you should be using in your tactics, etc., etc. So anyway. Push forward, they've already lost their E-75. Nice. That's a pretty clutch right there. So now if I could find this GW Panther. There we go. No more GW Panther, their artillery's down. Now we have their flank completely closed up here. Not really worried about the P, but I do want to get some damage on them. Now I'll get this Pershing as well, now I'm behind him. Hello, ammo rack, I think. Oh, I didn't ammo rack him, but still. Yeah, the Pershing is way too fragile to go up against me. He needs to basically start running around me or run away from me. And of course, I'm going to be able to take care of him without much problem. There we go. Now that he's done. Let's see what we can snipe out over here. We have a KV. Shouldn't be a problem. And a low. Low's going to be a problem. We got this Type 59 sitting over here somewhere. I can't see him. Alright. I don't even know what I hit over there. Let's kind of get behind cover though. We're very much exposed and we should probably be capping. Really. We have the advantage. We have the people here. I'm going to get on the cap. There's no reason why I'm not. Hitting on the move is not easy with this tank. There's their other Type 59. Wait for it to load up. Ricochet. Ah, balls. It's, again, trying to aim for that tool chest on the side of it. It's really tough, but I mean, you just kind of aim, shoot, and hope for the best. There we go. I'm aiming a little low. I don't know why I do that, but it's just a habit. Probably not a good one. I'll try and keep it angled. Don't move my side. We've lost a track. Enemy there we go. Destroyed. If I reload fast enough, I can take you out too. Come on, four seconds, good. We fixed the track. We lost half of our engine power. We hit them hard. Right, I'm gonna get killed here, but we're definitely gonna win. Man, I haven't had a good round of uh, living yet. Oh, bounced it. Nice. I missed him. Turret hug him. Not good for me, but. We're dead for nope. everyone. Get out. Alright, well, at least we definitely have this one wrapped up. We have their flanks, not a problem. Our E-75, let me flip to him. He's going to end up rolling those tanks. Probably be able to shoot through all of them. 
one shot apiece. The Tiger 2 is no chance to him. Hey, wake up. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I'm now alt tab. There we go. Yeah, so we're just going to end up running over their team. They don't really have anything that can stand a chance. Well, they can apparently down. Oh, he's using the stock turret, I guess. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't unlocked the E75 yet. But yeah. So, simple and easy. Well, he's not doing too good. Switch to something who's doing pretty good. Artillery, me. Come on and kill them both. There we go. And then our last tank. Or their last tank, rather. There we go. Problem solved. So, like I said, we pushed through their flank. Kind of forced them to start spinning around to come back to us, so... It allowed our team to get rear shots on them. Ended up overrunning them. No problem. So I'm in the little uh, T-50 here, trying to get back into the scouting thing. Kind of want to go up with the T-50-2. It's kind of a fun looking tank and, you know, at the speed of it, the gun on it, it all just seems pretty fun. So I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, this thing's a little upgraded. I have the 50mm or 57mm on the thing. And I also have the second engine and tracks and everything on there. I know the last engine makes a huge difference apparently because it's a... Uh, it's a little, little sluggish off the line. Certainly the aiming on this thing's pretty terrible. I wouldn't have mentioned that I can hit anything on the run. Ugh. Except I just come up to a T-50 right here. Enemy armor is damaged. That's not too bad. Our track is there we go. It could break any minute. Critical hit. Punch right through their armor. Uh, apparently I'm not going to kill them. They're knocked out. There we go. Ooh, I took a lot of hits there. So we're just gonna sit back, wait to drop aggro. Little T-50 uh, showed me what's up. That was a little rough. Didn't think they were that tough, and apparently he was doing some pretty good damage to me the whole time. So, just gotta be a little more careful now. Don't have the speed and everything else that I was hoping for. Alright, so give it just a second to drop aggro. And let's move out. Well, it's not too bad to get up to speed. It takes just a little bit. Nothing too, too special. Wouldn't mind it if it was a little quicker, but I'm sure that's what the next upgrade will take care of, or the next engine. The engine's pretty far away. 5,000 experience, so I guess that's a handful of good games, but the problem is getting into good games with this thing, seeing it is, it is a tier 5 scout, or tier 4 scout. It has all this crazy... Deciding whenever it wants to uh, be in good game things. We oh, now I gotta get away. So that other T50 is targeting me. Ugh, run! Alright, nice. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Alright, get behind the Defil Aid. There we go. T50 is coming on me. Actually, if he makes this mistake. It bounced off. Oh no, that did a lot more damage to me. Nuts! Oh, we're gonna win, but still, that was a bad mistake. I didn't think that would happen like that. I didn't think I'd bounce for one. Oh well, it happens. Overall though, I, I kinda like it. So, we'll have to see what else we can do with the thing after a little more upgrades and playing around with it and learning it again. Time to roll out. I like how I've yet to uh, survive any of the games I've recorded this time. It's just a uh, fate, I guess. By the way, I figured I'd hop back into my little SU-152 here for one last go around at the derp cannon. The cannon actually is going to, well, let me rephrase that. With 7.0 coming out in the next week, I believe, it's on about three days away now. <laughs> I've been recording this all this course of the week, but yeah. So, with the 7.0 patch coming out soon, they're going to reduce the effectiveness of HE. So, the it's basically because HE does most of its damage to the top armor, which is the weakest. With the new armor groupings and the way that HE is going to work, it's no longer going to be doing nearly as much damage as it used to, which is understandable. HE should not be doing any damage to a tank, really, because you're hitting the outside of the tank and flames are going everywhere. whoop de doo It, in theory, shouldn't work out like that. What they're going to do now, it's going to basically be... I don't know, I want to say probably, I think the math I was led to uh, believe it's going to be about 
half the damage that it used to do. So you're going to be seeing HE doing a whole lot less. And I mean, it's, it's to help curve the super effectiveness of artillery. Or the SPGs, rather. Because they shouldn't be doing nearly as much damage as they do. And same thing with the KV and the SC... U-152 with their derp cannons doing so much more damage than what they really should be able to do. So, it should make it a little more realistic. Understand, It's understandable. A lot of people will probably be upset by it because it's going to reduce the effectiveness of their tanks. And that's nothing you really want to have to deal with because, yeah, it kind of renders the derp cannon on the KV or the SU-152's 152 cannon is now kind of meh at best. The... Sherman's 105 is going down, and same thing with the 75 on the, what do you want to call that thing, on the uh, M5 Stuart. So there's a lot of tanks that are going to take some hits that used to be pretty effective using the HE. You'll have to work around it, figure out new uh, tactics and ideas. I, again, I can understand it. It's not going to be the greatest of things to have to get used to, but I guess it's not a big deal in the end. Make do with it. But... Yeah, so, slight changes there. There are going to be a lot of changes in 7.0 that seem like it should be interesting to see how they work out. Come on, readjust, readjust. Uh, got behind it. Just. But yeah, so artillery is going to be a lot less effective and it's going to make a lot less money. And that's one of the problems I'm running into right now is I need money. I am broke. Broke-tacular. And I have no means of really collecting any new sources of income. I was thinking about grabbing a art new artillery piece because I unlocked all the tier 6 artillery now, but the fact that I'm going to buy them and they're going to be making about, well, I think on average it was about 30% less per SPG, so oh, I haven't seen any tanks so far. So I really need to figure out a new way to start making credits, and I really don't want to buy a premium tank as much as I'd as much as I hate the fact that I might have to, I might not have an option. I might have to buy a low just so I can make a credit or get a credit maker. So it's against my best wishes, but I might have to do it just because. Now, the question is Woohoo! One shot at him! That's why HE is super effective and needs to be toned down. So yeah, but if I were to buy a premium, do you guys have any recommendations you would go with? I I think the low might better suit my playstyle. Might not be too fond of the uh, Type 59, despite how much I think it would be great to have. I just don't, I don't know. I don't see it earning nearly as many credits and everything else. Oh, Tiger. Of course, you need to make sure to. <laughs> the antenna is damaged. Oh, run. Come on. Quickly. Come on, repair the... I'll just repair it myself. Never mind. Good to go. Got worried for a second. No idea where this Hetzer is. Or not Hetzer, um... Hummel. But yeah, so some point should bring some good changes. I will try and put out a first look on Tuesday when it gets released. I know I've been slacking here at the videos. I'm... As you can tell, I'm congested. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of different stuff going on. So, yeah, I'll try and get a first look out as quick as possible on Tuesday. That's Goodbye, Hummer. So that way I can uh, go over what happened in the patch. Hopefully I can figure out some good stuff. But anyway, as always, Twitter's down in the description. And uh, everything else, yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, ratings are much appreciated. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.